Welcome back to the Unreal Engine Niagara series. In this episode, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of particle forces. Brace yourselves as we explore the incredible possibilities of manipulating particles with forces such as curl and noise, drag and point attraction. Get ready to unleash a whole new level of creativity as we uncover the secrets behind creating mesmerizing particle simulations. So grab your favorite beverage, sit back and prepare to be blown away by the sheer power of forces in Niagara. Let's dive in. All right, first of all, let me just tell you that we are going to create a Niagara particle system just like this one that you're watching in Unreal Engine's editor surface. So I think it's better to delete this one and I'm going to import the Niagara system that we have created in the first episode, I mean, in the previous session. And if you have missed it, I highly recommend you to watch it so you won't miss the principles of creating a Niagara system. In addition, we are going to work on this Niagara system so you would be familiar to how to create this one. And right now the card is showing on the upper corner of your screen, so just don't miss that. So let's continue and I'm going to open the Niagara system's editor window here. So the first thing to do is to change the calculator of simulation from CPU to GPU. And by doing that, we were able to simulate thousands of particles and just change the calculator bonus to fix. So the CPU would understand the whole simulation process is going to be run by GPU. And the next thing that we want to change is the loop duration. And let's change it from two seconds to something like five seconds and it reflects in the timeline and let's go further to spawn rate and I'm going to increase the number of particles to 10,000. In addition, let's add the spawn burst instantaneous to have more particles and I'm going to set it to something like maybe 35,000 would be okay. And let's go further to the particle spawn stage. And in the first module, we have initialized particle and I'm going to change the lifetime mode to random and let's set the minimum lifetime of the particles to something like three or four and maximum to five or six. And let's keep the other parameters as they are and let's continue to add velocity and I don't want to have any upside movements in the particles so let's just delete it simply and here we have the shape location module and in this module I'm going to change the shape of the particles to sphere and let's decrease the radius to something like 10, 15, 10 is too small I think let's increase it a bit that would be okay for now and let's continue to particle update stage and let's leave this particle state module and here we have scale sprite size module everything seems fine here and now it is time to add some forces to our particles so the first force that i'm going to add is the curl noise force so let's add it and here we have some parameters in the details section but before we get to that just look at the viewport and notice the behavior of the particles, we have kind of noise systems in the particles and we can control the strength of this noise among the particles and also we can control the frequency of happening this effect and force among the particles. And also I'm going to add some pan noise field on the X axis to have a better variation on this axis. In addition, let's add another force module to particle update stage called point attraction force. And this force pulls particles towards a specified point, creating captivating effects of attraction and motion. So let's set it to something maybe four would be okay. Just look at the motions and movements of particles from the viewport. And I think we're almost there, but we might be needed to some additional forces. Let's add another one called drag. So let me find it in the forces category. It's right here. 
just click on it and here we have it in our stage and this force simulates the resistance encountered by particles resulting in a gradual reduction of their velocity and creating realistic fluid-like movements. And finally, we need to add some color variation on the particles. So in this regard, I have added the color module in the particle update stage. As you can see here, we have it. And let's take a look to the details of this module. We have two points upside and two points downside. The upside points controls the color and downside points control the opacity. So in the opacity of one, we have this bluish color and simply click on a blank space on that ribbon to describe a new color on a new opacity level and i'm going to do that let's add another color something maybe yellow and again let's add another color point on this level of opacity to have something like this dark blue and we can also control the opacity level of this color variation and just experiment different colors with different levels of opacities because you are the author of your visual effect. Let's take a look to the results in the Unreal Engine's editor window. And there you have it. We've explored the power of curl and noise forces as well as the influence of drag and point attraction forces on our particle simulations. This is just the beginning of our journey together. In the upcoming episodes, we will continue to unravel the secrets of Niagara and dive into a wide range of captivating visual effects. Get ready to unleash your creativity and take your projects to new heights. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials and unleash the full potential of Unreal Engine Niagara. See you in the next videos.